I'm Vijay Kumar. I'm the Dean of Penn Engineering, and it's really an honor to kick off the Engineering in 100 series. I feel fortunate to be in the technology space. I feel even more fortunate to be the Dean of, of Engineering in an institution like ours, a fine institution that combines the liberal arts and the professional disciplines. But I believe that technology is now becoming a liberal art. In the next 90 seconds, I'll tell you why. And I'll, there are two reasons for it. First, half a billion years ago, life form on Earth underwent a revolution. It's called the Cambrian Explosion, where the diversity of animal phyla just exploded in a short period of 20 million years. I believe we're going through something very similar in the technology space. Of course, the Cambrian explosion in technology started with a series of events surrounding the semiconductor industry, a sequence of events now we associate with Moore's Law. But today, if you look at computation, the cost of computation is decreasing roughly 33% a year. The cost of communication is decreasing 28% a year. The cost of storage technologies is dropping at roughly 37% a year. Today, you can sequence your DNA for $250, one hundredth of the cost five years ago. And of course, five years before that, you couldn't even do it. Today, our freshmen are able to manufacture really complex three-dimensional parts using a 3D printing machine. And that 3D printing machine costs less than the black and white laser printer I use to print my PhD thesis. And I'm not that old. According to the American colleges and universities, a liberal education is about broad knowledge base, empowering individuals and preparing them to deal with complexity and change. Well, because of the lowering of the barrier to entry in technology, the number of players in this field is increasing. And because of the increase in number of players, you have more shots on goal. Because of more shots on goal, you're attracting even more players. And as the number of players increases, the rate at which innovation occurs, discoveries are made, inventions are made, is also increasing. And that's change for you. So it's not clear to me how you can have a liberal education without being completely immersed in technology. That's my first reason. My second reason simply has to do with the fact that if you look at all the grand challenges that are out there confronting us as a society, challenging human civilization with just existence the way we know it, they're all about technology, or at least they require technology to solve problems. So think about the food shortage. Think about water shortage. Think about challenges with climate change. Think about energy shortage. Think about cures for pandemics. All of these require solutions that require technological innovation. And without technology, we'll be ill-equipped to deal with these kinds of challenges. Again, according to the same association, a liberal education is about developing a strong and transferable intellectual and practical skills. Well, isn't technology the strongest and most transferable practical intellectual skill? So I submit to you that technology is not only a liberal art, it's also the most essential liberal art. Thank you very much.